All right, you are welcome again. In this lesson, let's consider multiple or double integral. That is multiple integral or we call it double integral. Now let's pay attention to this lesson and see what we can learn. Let's take a look at this question. And thereby, we we'll explain more. Compute the double integral over the indicated region. The double integral over the region are 6xy squared dA, where the R is 2,4 and 1,2. So this is the question. We are to compute the double integral over the indicated region region so the region is 2,4 and 1,2 now let's go here we have double integration and then the variables that we have is x and y that means we are going to integrate with respect to x and with respect to y so after this integration exactly what we are looking for is the area of the indicated region you get it right? So that's why we have the A. We are looking for the area of the indicated region. So now, let's see how we're going to do it. Now the region here, the R, we have 2,4. So this first one, we'll call it the X. And then the second one, 1, 1,2. We take it as the Y. So the first integral sign, we have the region 2,4. That will give us the boundary or the interval, the boundary. You get it? So that means we're going to have the integral from the boundary 2 to 4. Now, and then we have the second one, the integral from the boundary 1 to 2. You get it? So here we have the our variable 6xy squared. Then we're going to have dy dx so you know have you heard of the word fifo and philo fifo means first in first out and then philo first in last out so in this case we say the first one is we call it x right good you know the integral from 2 to 4 that is the x now we have the integral from 1 to 2 we call it the y then we have 6xy squared so here we are going to make use of philo first in, last out. We started with x. That means we are going to end it with x. Hello. So the first integral sign, we started with what? x. We are going to end it with x. So for us to end it with x, that means before x, we have dy. So here, that means we are going to say the integral from 2 to 4 and another integral from 1 to 2, 6xy squared dy dx. So as we have it like this, we are going to split it into two in such a way that you understand. Here, we are going to say we have the inner integral and the outer integral. Now, I put it in a bracket this way so that you understand so this one in the bracket now is the inner integral and then you have the outside or the outer integral so in this case you can start with any of them in as much you obey the rule so if you integrate the inner first before integrating outer it will give you the same result if you take the outer integral first before the inner integral so in this lesson, we are going to take the inner integral and then we are going to arrive at an answer. Please, I want you to do me a favor. Take the outer integral first before taking the inner and see whether you are going to arrive at the same answer. Okay, so, you know, this is how I place it. We are going to evaluate this inner integral first. Okay, so that means this inner integral is saying the integral from 1 to 2, 6xy squared dy and then since it is double integral or multiple integral and then here we have 
the integral from 1 to 2, 6xy squared dy. So we are going to integrate this with respect to y. Every other variable, we will hold it constant. We will look at it, every other variable that is not y, we will look at it as a constant, but integrate y. Okay, so we are going to integrate y and hold every other variable constant. All right, good. Now let's go. Here we have the integral from 1 to 2, 6x, y squared. Now, when we integrate y squared, what is it going to give us? You know, these two, we add one to it, it's going to give us 3, right? That means we have y cubed. Then all over 3. So here we're going to have 6x y cubed all over 3. And then we have our interval 1 and 2. So when we integrate the inner integration, it gives us 6x y cubed all over 3 from 1 to 2. You get it? And then you know we still have our outer integral. So as we integrate this now, one, now, when you have 6xy cubed all over 3, you can simply say 6 divided by 3 is going to give you 2. So here we're going to have the integral from 2 to 4. 2xy cubed. Now we have from 1 to 2 dx. So here we integrated with respect to y. So we're going to plug in the higher boundary minus the lower boundary. You get it, right? So that means we're going to say the integral from 2 to 4. In this function 2x y cube we know we integrated with respect to y and then we have the lower and the upper boundary right good so we're going to place the upper boundary which is 2 inside this function anyway we see y we we'll replace it with the upper boundary minus anyway we we'll see y we'll replace it with the lower boundary you get it right so it's going to be 2x in place of i will replace it with 2 cube minus you have 2x in place of y will replace it with the lower boundary 1 cube you get it right and then we still have the outer integral the, the x so here if we say 2 cube is going to give you 8 8 times 2x is going to give you 16x minus 1 cube is 1 times 2x is 2 x here we have 16x minus 2x is going to give us 14x so here we have the integral from 2 to 4 14x dx the integral from the boundary 2 to 4 14x dx so here it is simplified we have integrated the inner and then we have the outer integral remaining let's evaluate this integral so when we integrate 14x with respect to x, it's going to give us 14x squared all over 2. Then we have our boundary from 2 to 4. Now here, when we say 14 divided by 2, it's going to give us 7. So here we have 7x squared. And then we have our boundary 2 to 4. So we're going to place the upper boundary minus the lower boundary. Here we're going to have 7 open bracket 4 raised to power 2 minus 7 open bracket 2 raised to power 2. So when you say 4 squared is equal to 16, 16 times 7 is going to give us 112. And then here we have 2 squared is 4, 4 times 7 is 28. So here we have 112 minus 28. So when we calculate this, it's going to give us 84. So the double integral over the indicated region 2 comma 4 and 1 comma 2 of the double integral 6x y squared dy dx is giving us 84 so here you fix it in a proper integration you have your inner integral you have your outer integral you can take any of them first in as much you can integrate so if you take the first the inner integration solve and then take the outer. It's the same as when you take the outer and then take the inner. All right? Yes. Now let's take more examples so that you understand these double and multiple integral very well. Let's go. Stay blessed.